Alright everyone, this is exciting. We have a lot to cover and for those who don't know Astalos, Astalos is one of the strong flagship monsters back in Generations Ultimate. Now let's talk about the real reason why you're watching this right now. Is the armor good or bad? What about the weapons? If you're into fast weapons, listen up, you might like Astalos. Here's what the G rank slash master rank armor looks like back in Generations Ultimate. The male armor looks sick. For the skills, we have chain crit, stamina recovery, and stun resistance. Wait a second Mackie, we only have like a few skills. Guys, don't worry about it. Just like in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, in Master Rank, I'm sure they'll add more skills. For now, this is what Astalos had back then in the old generation. Let's quickly talk about Chain Crit because this skill is really good for fast weapons. We already had like a pseudo chain crit with Kushala's Rampage Dual Blades and I think in Mass Rank we'll finally have this as a normal skill into our armor set. In the old gen, chain crit gives you a 30% plus in your affinity as long as you keep attacking the monster and like I said, fast weapons would really benefit from this skill. There's not much for me to say about the deco slots but it should be good since it's already Mass Rank. Now let's get into the weapons for the Blade Master. Honestly, the Blade Master weapons is a bit underwhelming. You'll need a bit of handicraft for the fast weapons and the raw damage is on I would say quite on the mid range. If you're looking for a good thunder element weapon, I think you'd have a better choice out there in my opinion. But who knows, they might buff the Astalos weapon. For the range weapons, the bow is alright, it's a mix of rapid and pierce. Here's a screenshot of what Astalos has in generations ultimate. Same goes for the light bogan and heavy bogan. Here's what I'm predicting, I think we're going to face him in MR3. Same lineup with Mizutsune, based on what I've experienced in Generations Ultimate. Astalos is a fun monster to fight in my experience. Knowing how a lot of the moves, he can punish you with it, especially when you're using the wire bug. And yeah, I'm quite excited. Also, now that Astalos is confirmed in Sunbreak, and same goes with Shogun Xehanitar, I really believe that they're going to add this next monster, Apex Astalos or Bolt Reaver Astalos as they call it. Here are some of the moves. It's going to give us a challenge we've been asking for in Rise. I'm super excited for this. Let me know what you think. Like I said guys, I'm excited for Sunbreak. In fact, I have a plan in mind that you might be interested in. In this next video, I'll be explaining why Shogun Sanitar is so special in Sunbreak. Do check it out. I really believe that this may shift how the early days of our master rank would turn out. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.